Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been quite a while, it's probably been over a year since I have done any sort of YouTube video whatsoever, but I said I'm going to start documenting again. I'm going to start kind of putting out some content and basically just recording and leading you along on my journey for whoever wants to kind of watch and are interested in what I'm doing, etc. So I'm going to start a new series which is going to be called The Transition. And basically, the reason behind this is because obviously, last time I was putting out videos, I was obviously competing as a junior, etc. And now, for my next shows that I do plan on doing, which won't be for a couple of years down the line, but I'm going to be transitioning over into obviously men's open classes. So, that's basically the reason behind the name of the series, The Transition. Also, over the next kind of, especially the start of 2021 and 2021 altogether. There's going to be a good few big life changes happening for me personally. So, again, I, th I thought the, the name of the transition would correlate to everything else that's going to occur over that time as well. So, I'm excited to kind of get this up and running again. And I'm excited to kind of bring it along the way and hopefully, you know, people do find it interesting and maybe learn some bits and pieces from kind of what I do and my approach and my methods, etc. Today I am going to just start off pretty easy, run through kind of a full day of eating and it's a rest day today so I'm going to basically run through kind of what my rest day diet is like at the moment. I'm in the middle of a mini cut, well towards the end of it and soon we will be pushing things back up and looking to add some much needed size obviously over the next couple of years in order to make the transition over into you know the, the bodybuilding classes. So. Today is going to be a full day of eating. I'm basically going to run through kind of what I'm eating on a rest day at the moment. I'll kind of go through some of my plans, etc. I'm also going to have a lot of training content coming up. I'm going to have somebody recording sessions for me. So that's going to be a lot more frequent because I do know a lot of people like to see actual training footage. I know personally, when I'm looking at YouTube, I like seeing people training. I like seeing what they're doing in the gym. So that will be coming. Obviously, gyms in in um, in Ireland are closed at the moment so as soon as they reopen I will have someone on board and them sessions will be recorded okay so along the way as well I'm not just gonna kind of record like all the highs I'm gonna give you kind of an insight into the whole journey the whole process so to speak even the low days I'm gonna try and be as transparent as possible and not hold anything back and just just be honest and give you an insight into kind of what I actually do what it actually takes to compete and maybe maybe live this life for people who don't. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into it. So I'm gonna start off um, this morning. I have over 10,000 steps done and dusted, and now I'm straight back into meal one. Meal one and the rest day at the moment. As you'll see, food is very low at the moment. It's only a mini cut. Like I said, the aim here was to pull off as much shit weight and body fat as possible in a short space of time. Because the shorter space of time we can spend kind of in a deficit during this phase, the more time we have to push back up and actually grow, okay? First meal today is 300 mils of egg whites and one egg, which may not seem like a lot. It's not, but it's not going to be for long. And soon you will see a lot more exciting food on the channel. Right now, I am very hungry and um, very tired towards the end of this mini cup, but you will see, give it another four to six weeks, and I'd be sick of this height of food and I won't even want to be eating. So it's like uh, opposite ends of the spectrum, this whole sport, so to speak. First of all, eggs. So, one calorie spray. Um, spray the pan. Turn this on, I'll heat that pan up first. So let that heat, I'll put the eggs on, and then I will get back to you once they are made. Okay, so finished products. Scrambled eggs, the ketchup, seven twists of pink salt and that's good to go um, along with my morning supplements which we have here so i'm going to do a separate video in the future kind of going through why i take each supplement etc but basically morning supplements at the moment vitamin d omega trees b complex curcumin and um, glucosamine all that is garlic boron Baby aspirin um, and vital support by JP. Now, as we know, 
Health supplements are extremely, extremely important, especially if we are enhanced. You know, health is number one priority. We want to kind of limit the effects as, as much as possible. Health supplements cannot stress the importance of them enough, obviously along with regular blood work as well to make sure kind of health markers are staying in, in range. Yeah, morning supplements, meal one going down, and then I will check back in in a while when so we get on to basically next. Basically, on to meal two now. And um, basically, all we're gonna have here is 200 grams of lean beef mince and 100 grams of green beans. Not much whatsoever. Since that last meal, I've just been sitting down to clients' work, so no check-ins today. But I have a good few few plans to go out for Monday. Getting them just wrapped up for the last couple of hours. Um, and now, I, after this meal, I will have another couple of hours work, uh, replying to clients, finishing off plans. And then I will have meal number three. And then I will I will go and get my 25 minutes of cardio done. I'll go get it done in the Stairmaster. So that's pretty much me today. Eating, working, but yeah, that's meal two. 200 grams of mince, 100 grams of green beans, and then I will get back to work then um, on the laptop for the next couple of hours, and then I'll check back in with the next meal. But that's about exciting as it is for the time being. I'll run through a bit more later on. So I thought I would give you a quick rundown of current situation, training wise, etc. So previously on my channel, Last time I was prepping, I was coaching myself. I felt as my as my own client base kind of grew, um, I needed someone to take over my side of things in terms of my training, my nutrition, so I could put more focus on my own clients and then have to worry less about what I'm doing for myself. Having that accountability and having somebody else calling the shots has taken a massive amount of stress off me, where I just follow the plan, do as I'm told, and then I can just place all my focus and energy on my own clients. So currently I am working with Cuba and we've been working together for the past few months. At the moment, training wise, we have been, throughout this period, we've been running one day on, one day off, which is push, off, pull, off, legs, off. So it's pretty low frequency. It's kind of the lowest frequency I've ever, I've ever done. You know, it works out as kind of three days one week, four days the next week. As we do transition over into you know more of a gaining phase, recovery capabilities will massively increase. Food will increase as well. So frequency will be able to be to be taken up slightly. So frequency will increase. That split will will change over the next couple of weeks, and I will keep you in the loop around that. But when it comes to the sessions, like I said, I will be recording sessions. So I will take you through what they look like and how they're programmed, etc. Too. Cardio is at the moment 25 minutes daily, along with 11,000 steps daily also. As we transition over, that will start to be reduced. As I said, I'm going to be as transparent as possible on this channel. And when it comes to anabolic use, it is a thing. You know, it, there's no beating around the bush. You will see a lot of people on social media maybe kind of just brush it under the rug and what I think that does, I think that's very misleading for maybe younger people coming up in this industry, looking up to, to these guys and not realizing, you know, what, what the situation is. Now, not everyone uses anabolics, nowhere near it, but it is a thing in the industry that does occur. So people shouldn't be blind to that and they shouldn't be misled, okay? Now, when it comes to kind of um, individual use etc and doses it's something that personally I will not get into because I think it's very irresponsible to get into that sort of stuff everyone is different okay everyone's body is different I think people are very impressionable so if I go touching on on that kind of what I'm doing personally compounds doses etc people may feel like okay this is what this guy is doing I'm gonna do the exact same. And for me, that is very irresponsible because they don't know any difference and everyone is different, okay? Every, everyone's body is different. Food and training are number one, okay? Yes, we all know it. 
anabolics in some cases do play a part, but food and training are number one. And in most cases, in cases people can't even be consistent with their food, they can't even be consistent with their training. And one of the biggest kind of things I see in a gym nowadays is that people don't hold the ability to actually train hard. They don't realize their full potential. And that's because they haven't been pushed to them levels before. People have to realize that in order to get the results you want in terms of hypertrophy, you have to be giving everything in the gym into your workouts. You cannot be going through the motions. You cannot be going in and you know doing 10 reps and stopping like five, six reps short of failure. It's not gonna stimulate the muscle enough and cause enough damage to create a response um, or to create hypertrophy, okay? So not trying hard enough is the number one thing that I see at the moment that people don't take into consideration enough and overall consistency. So people may string together a couple of good days in regards to food and training um, and they may feel great and then they may wonder why, they, why they're not getting results. But just because you string, string together a couple of days of good training on field or a couple of weeks, it's what you do in the months and the years that add up, okay? A couple of days good training isn't going to get you the results you want, just like a couple of days off plan isn't going to make you regress completely, okay? Consistency every day over a long period of time is what breeds, breeds results, okay? So that comes down to adequate hydration, proper nutrition, proper training, adequate sleep, stress management, all these things that people just completely disregard are the basics that are most fundamental in order to build muscle, improve performance overall. They're the things, they're the foundations and the basics that people need to be nailing down. And if you are listening to this and you are and you're maybe wondering why you're not getting the results that you that you should be getting, you have to ask yourself, you know, are you nailing your food? Are you nailing your training? Are you getting an adequate water? Are you getting adequate sleep? Okay. And if you can if you can pinpoint any one of those and say, Do you know what? No, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. Well then let's get that 100 percent first before we even complain about getting, not getting the results we want. Okay? Nail them down for a consistent period of time and I guarantee you things will start to change fast. That's just a brief run through of, of where I'm at training wise, coach wise, um, etc. And like I said, there will be more there, there will be training videos, etc. coming in the future, which I'm gonna run through and break down kind of my training, etc. too. But like I said, I will take you along the way. Any changes at all, I am gonna keep you updated and basically show you through the process of me trying to improve myself, not only physically, but also mentally, business-wise as well, and as a person. Okay, so meal three, we have um, 200 grams of chicken, 150 grams of sweet potato, 100 grams of green beans again. Um, I'm gonna have a coffee with this one too. Um, because obviously we have cardio after this, so I'll get a coffee in. Um, some salt as usual. Um, so yeah, coffee, meal tree, um, and then some finish out with some mustard as well. And then that's us done for meal three. Okay, so meal four. Next we have 50 grams of white rice, 200 grams of um, lean beef mince again and that's it and um, some more carbs a little bit more carbs than than the last meal anyway that's the most we're gonna have today then um i will have this get back to some more work for the next couple of hours again and then i will go on to my next meal and show you have two meals left after this one so um yeah i guess stuck into this and i will catch you for the next one okay so meal number five um all work done for today, cardio is done, new client plans are sent out and all client um, messages are responded to. So basically I'm just gonna have this meal five now. It's a Saturday evening so I'm gonna try and switch off something I find very, very difficult to do but I'm gonna try my best 
I watch something on YouTube or, or whatever and then have the last meal later on. In this meal we have 200 grams of lean beef mince again and then we have uh, 100 grams of potato and um, with 150 grams of green beans. Um, so as you can see carbs are pretty low on rest days, 100 grams of potato <laughs> is fucking grim but it is what it is, so the mince and there we go, the huge amount of carbs in this meal, but that's it. So meal five, and um, I'll actually get a bit of mustard for the for the mince and um, get this down, try and chill out for a couple of hours. So last meal about to go down. Um, we have 250 grams of 0% fat Greek yogurt and 30 grams <coughs> of um will be there we go, 30 grams of whey. The one I'm using at the moment is the Isola by Biotech. So 30 grams and 100 grams of strawberries. And I will get this mixed up now. So here we are, finished product. And the key to this is toffee drops. Um, but stevia toffee drops, sugar free. So I will put a few of these on here. And that is a lovely meal to finish today. It's not much, but it goes down really, really well. That is pretty much it. Um, like I said, food is pretty low on a rest day. It's probably around fucking 2,000 calories or something at the moment. But um, another day down. Tomorrow we have a push session. So um, I'll get this down, get to bed, get a sleep by about quarter past 10, up bright and early, and ready to go again for another day but like I said this mini cut should be wrapped up pretty soon there'll be more content coming I will run through when I make any change when any changes are made to the diet etc and yeah I will keep you updated but hopefully going forward you will find it interesting you will get a bit of an insight into kind of the way I'm approaching things what I'm doing how I train etc and yeah it's up and running now so I'm looking forward to keeping the ball rolling and yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.